Hey, Jocelyn with Walter's World, and today we're in Congonhas, Minas Gerais, Brazil. Where? Exactly. Today we're going to do our five things you'll love and hate about traveling off the beaten path. And number one is that it's off the beaten path, so you get to experience real culture, not just metropolitan culture. You get to be in, in a town with real people doing real things that they do in real life. And so it's an experience of culture, it's living the culture, not just touching the surface of it that you get in maybe big cities sometimes. Number two, there are less tourists and no tour buses. You don't have to be, you know, mobbed by a tourist group going into the local art museum or anything else. It's just a little more solitary and you get a little more enjoyment out of that. Number three, you get to re meet real people. You are invited into people's homes for coffee or lunch or dinner, and you get to be with them and understand their culture from a very real personal perspective. And that's something that can't be measured in my book. Number four, you can relax. There's nobody there jacking up tourist prices and you know, there's no rush, rush, rush trying to beat the crowd to get to the nearest site early in the morning or anything like that. You just get to be and it's, it's vacation. Often what we take are trips and it's go, go, go. But when we get to a small town, we get to slow down and relax and be kind of tourists, but also we get to kind of just live the life. And that's what's wonderful about being off the beaten path. Number five is something kind of personal for Mark and I. Um, we really reflect on life and travel and how one affects the other and all the places that we've been. And, you know, it's kind of our time to sit back and look at each of these places and how they have affected us and who we are and who our children are. So my final note is what I guess I'm trying to get across is just how incredible it is to be off the beaten path. It's my favorite way of traveling. I like to go to little out of the way towns that no one else is visiting. And when you go to a small town and you hire a guide or you stay in a little pension and you, you leave a tip for the person cleaning your room or whatever, that makes a greater economic impact on one person's life. And if this video can inspire just a couple more people to go to some little town and that just will magnify what we're doing and make a better impact on someone's life in a real way. But not everyone can go and live the culture like we did for a week in Salarico de Vera. And you know, that's where Caleb, our first experience with an international- Show me your scar, Caleb. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's our first experience with um, an international hospital, Caleb fell down and cut his head open and off we went in an ambulance. You know, it was a crazy incident, but you, we got to see what real life was because real life happened there the whole week, not just, you know, in the hospital. So those are our reasons for traveling in off the beaten path places. And we hope that you will too. Next, Mark's gonna take over. And yeah, I'll tell you the bad stuff, but we're gonna go to my, actually Brazilian families, kind of like where they live these days, a really backwoods kind of Brazil, to show you that. So let's go there. Yeah, Finumundo, they call it Baraco, a hole, but we love it. <laughs> we do love it. <laughs> so the first thing you really need to worry about, the first thing you're not gonna like when you do travel off the beaten path is the lack of infrastructure. I'm not, I mean, I'm not just talking dirt roads here and, and things like that. I'm talking lack of hotels or, or hostels or, or bed and breakfasts and things like that. I'm also tourist information and all these kind of things just might not be there. And you need to know is how do I get to these places? W what's the bus I take and, and where do I stay? It's really tough to know these things. And what you have to realize is when you're gonna be going to these places that are off the beaten track, you're gonna have to expand your horizons a bit more in terms of what you eat, where you stay, and things like that. You know what, if you're in India, maybe you do sp spend the night on the floor of a temple and maybe other places you knock around and say, hey, does anybody around here rent a room? And you might have to ask to find places but just realize that first thing is that lack of infrastructure the second thing you're not gonna like is since you're in the middle of nowhere there's probably not a lot of research done about this place you know I always tell people look you're looking for a place to stay go look on TripAdvisor they have good reviews and stuff like that to give you an idea but if you're coming to a place like this there might not be reviews or the reviews that are on there are in Portuguese or or Russian or some language you don't speak 
And the thing is, the lack of research does make it tough. So you really have to kind of do more research than usual about that country. So you know, hey, are there areas I shouldn't go, areas I should go, things I should see, shouldn't see. And sometimes you have to kind of extrapolate, okay, well, they went to this beach town kind of by here, and let's see what we might think about that. So that lack of research can be tough. However, when you are traveling these offbeat places, write a blog, write a post, write a review, make a video to help other travelers so when they come to the back places like Jorea or Iguape and things like that, there's gonna be something for them. But that, that, that lack of infrastructure and lack of research can be really, really kind of tough. Third thing you're probably not gonna like about that is you really, you're not gonna find foreign languages off the beaten track. I mean, we're off the beaten track for a reason. We are getting away from it all. And therefore, if you're in the backwoods in the US, in Germany, in Brazil, people only speak the local language. So it is just Portuguese here. In Germany, the, you know, you go to some of these small villages, yeah, sometimes it is only German there. And in the US, it's only English there. And you have to realize you really need to learn some of the basics of the language. So make sure you download some, you know, Got like dictionaries and stuff like that. Learn a few words before you come so you can say is, how do I get to this town? Where is the closest bus station? You know, uh, where's a place I can stay? Thank you, please. Know those things because off the beaten track, you really are with the locals. And probably those locals have not seen too many foreigners coming around there. So they haven't used a lot of foreign language skills. So make sure you do know a few words wherever you're going to go, whether it's Azerbaijan or Russia or Thailand. It really helps to at least know a little bit to make that kind of like, uh oh, what do I do when there's no one speaking my language, even at the hotels? That gets frustrating helps you kind of get through some of those things. OK, now, the fourth thing you might not like about it is it is harder to get to these places. I mean, it's off the beaten track, which means you're not taking the ICE fast train in Germany there, and you're not taking the Executivo bus to get there in Argentina or Brazil. You're taking other means of transportation. Yes, sometimes you're taking a bus with some chickens in it. It has happened to us. You are sitting in the back of a pickup truck going through places in Mexico. We've done that too. And you gotta realize is getting to these backwoods places, sometimes there is a little hitchhiking here and there. There is some of those things. So you really need to be extra careful. And sometimes you're looking at how do I get there? You might see, oh, there's only one bus a day or one bus a week. And so you gotta realize this, look, if I'm gonna go off the beaten track, I've gotta have a lot of patience in terms of where I'm going, how long I'm gonna stay and be very open for these things. Because off the beaten track is off the beaten track. So there's not buses coming by every day and shuttles going there all the time. And that kind of lack of transport to get there can be kind of troublesome, but I mean, that's part of the adventure. And the fifth thing you might not like about coming to the off the beaten track is Usually when you go to the off, -beaten, off the beaten track places, there's not the world famous sites you're used to seeing. You're coming off the beaten track to learn about the culture, learn about the people, enjoy yourself, relax, sit on the beach, whatever. You're getting away from it all. But the problem is, is when your friends say, oh, you went to Brazil, right? Yeah, well, yeah, I've been in Brazil for a week. Where'd you see, did you, did you, did you go to the sugar loaf and, and did you see the Christ and Rio? Or, or did you go to Bahia and get the thing on your wrist kind of stuff? And you're like, no, I was in this little beach village town in the middle of nowhere eating amazing food and, and talking to friends and learning Portuguese and stuff. And, and people sit there and go, oh, well, you didn't see the Christ the Redeemer. Why would you go to Brazil? And that is one of the things that you got to realize when you're going off the beaten track, don't expect the world famous sites. You have great experiences, but you might not see the great sites for your great selfies that people like to take these days. So those are some things you might not like about it. But I'll be honest, I love going off the beaten track. So those are the five things that I love and hate about kind of going off the beaten track. What are some of yours? Put it in the comment section below so we can have some more good and bad about traveling off the beaten track. I will say another thing about going off the beaten track. One thing you might not like, there are some safety concerns because there's not as many tourists and these kind of things. So do pay attention if you are traveling on your own or you're going off these off beaten tracks, you know, just, just to keep a heads up for things. All right. Anyway, I hope you have a great time traveling. If you want to learn more, five things you're loving about here in Brazil, or, or hidden gems in Europe or whatever, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions. We hope you have a great time traveling, whether you're on the, on the beaten track, off the beaten track, in the big city, in the small town, or wherever the world takes you. So, bye from basically the middle of nowhere, Brazil. Adeus.